One of the questions I got on LinkedIn this week was, what's my take on the spiraling white fly? It's a great question, and I'd like to take a shot at answering it. Whether you're a commercial grower or a lawn care operator, you have a decision to make. As a commercial grower, it's a simple matter of economics. Does the expense of the chemical control option outweigh the revenue that you gain by selling that plant? If it doesn't, then we need to find a different plant to replace that with in your inventory or come up with a different spray program. I give you a tip. As you're crunching the numbers on your current spray program, don't make the numbers work to make the numbers work. And by that I mean don't consider cutting the rate on your chemical or using a generic product to get that to be profitable for you. That's not a long-term sustainable solution and not what we're all about. Consider using the best product for the job at the best rate for the job. And if that doesn't make you profitable, we either need to find a new plant with lower pest pressure or come up with a new spray program. Unfortunately, as a lawn care operator, you have a much bigger decision to make. Sometimes going out and replacing a 100 foot long, 20 foot tall ficus hedge or a grouping of specimen palm trees isn't exactly the uh, most desirable undertaking you and your client will ever take on. In that case, it's probably best for you to sit down with your client, show them the options and the ongoing cost of these chemical treatments. In the long run, we need to start moving towards plants that have lower pest pressures. Ficus is not on that list. In the short term, there's several things we can do to mitigate the price while keeping the control of the pest very high. One of the easiest things and best things you can do from a sustainable and responsible standpoint is rotate through your chemical modes of action. Don't always use the same systemic product or the same contact product time after time after time. Eventually the white flies will build up a tolerance to that product and you will see diminished results. There are some interesting things going on in the field right now by using growth regulators in conjunction with a chemical application. This manages the plant's growth habit and keeps it from outgrowing the performance of the chemical application. If you're not sure about any of these tactics or would just like to discuss further, please feel free to message me and I'm always here to answer questions.